This is, this is still fresh. This is a new rhythm, and it stinks. Run. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. Run it. I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Think sharp, man. Listen. What's going on, guys? Gabriel say, aka the truth here. Now, how many of you guys have had those embarrassing gym moments? I know I have. You know what I'm talking about. You know them moments where you just sit back and think, the fuck just happened? Literally, all you want to do is you just want to just leave the gym. Like, your ego has been destroyed, your street cred has been destroyed, and the first thing and the only thing that's on your mind right now is, I need to leave. These are my top three embarrassing gym moments. Number one, I was that guy. You know, that guy that when this happened, everyone just stood there and shook their damn heads. So this one, let's rewind about, I think about nine years, eight, nine years, baby. I started training legs. I wasn't training legs properly. You know, I was doing the whole quarter squat thing, you know, just knee spasms. <laughs> but I thought I was big. You know, I put on, I think it was about 180 kilos doing these rubbish quarter squats, thinking I was the man, you know, I was, I was screaming the place down. I thought I was that, I thought I was it. I was that guy. Came to the end of the workout. There's four plates on one side. One, two, three, four. The whole thing just. <laughs> flipped over. I tried to grab it. The bar grabbed my hand, smacked it into the railing and, and into the like the latches and flipping cut my hand open, cut my fingers open. I'm standing there bleeding. I just made the biggest noise in the gym <laughs> and there's plates everywhere. I damn near almost smashed the mirror. So embarrassed. <laughs> so embarrassed I didn't even want to move. Number two, gas attack. <laughs> now this was when I just started lifting. So this is going 12, 12, yeah, 12 years back now. I had met this girl in the club who was then my girlfriend. So me and her went to the gym, you know, we were training. She did her little thing, I did my little thing and we came together at the end and we were doing abs. I hurt her legs, and she did her sit-ups. Yeah. Nice, good reps. She held my legs. <laughs> One, two. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What the fuck just happened? I just farted on my girlfriend. I've only known her for two weeks. What do I do? This is, this is still fresh. This is a new rhythm, and it stinks. Runs. Literally, so embarrassed. I didn't even know what to do. I didn't know what to do at all. Number three is the feebleness. Now, way back when, going right back to the very start of my lifting, me and my friend JK got in the gym. JK had been training for a few years before. He had the upper hand on me, but he was teaching me the ropes. He was teaching me the way. I got into one of those old school machines, you know, the chest press machine. So it was like the lying down one, but with the handles that come out like that and then the plate load, like the weight plates. So it wasn't like a proper bench press, but that's what the uni gym had. JK proceeds to do, you know, like 50, 60 kilos. And I was like, oh, this dude's kind of strong. But yeah, I, I, can, I can do this, I can do this. Go underneath it. I kid you not, 15 kilos. So that's not even a bar if I was to be doing free weight. 15 kilos, I was like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> And literally, I felt so feeble, <laughs> so rubbish, I wanted to leave the gym. But the reason why I've included this one in my embarrassing gym moments is because everyone has to start somewhere. Not many people, unless you're some genetic cyborg freak, is gonna go into the gym and just be able to pull, you know, like 400 pounds or bench 225 for reps and all that kind of stuff. But take that as motivation and a starting point to where you wanna to get to. Once you get to where you wanna to get to, you'll look back at this at that day and realize that, yeah, I've done it. And that's something that I can now smile about and giggle about because it was part of the journey. That was the beginning. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And if you're not new and you haven't subscribed, the button is right there. I don't know what you're waiting for.
Don't forget to follow me on all socials. I'm on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Active on all of them now. I'll respond to your questions. I'll respond to your snaps. But until next time, be true, lift big, and stay swole, baby. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,